Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. This time on Kim's Rude Awakenings. <laughs> the Kenny family is suffocating. So why do you kids aren't dead? It's disgusting. Last year you didn't shampoo that, you liar. This is the house of poop. Between dog poop, filth, and mountains of garbage... This place is a biohazard, you dirty beggars. Domestic diplomats Kim Woodburn and Mike Chalou are on a serious mission. Their goal? To identify and confront messy and disorganized families and bring some sanity back into their lives and homes. This time, Kim and Mike take on the Kennys. Marion is a single mom who works full time and has three kids at home. Ryan, Siobhan, and Seamus. Go and clean your room. Siobhan, shouldn't you help me? No, you're gonna take a bag and you're gonna go down right now. I'm so embarrassed to have friends over to my house to go bread and get all kind of angry at my family. And by family, Siobhan means specifically Ryan and Seamus, her able-bodied brothers who have turned dirt and sloth into a lifestyle. I try to help out, but I don't think it's really that good. As you can see, my room is a complete disaster. And that's a problem for Siobhan, who plans to trade bedrooms with Ryan and take over the basement. Siobhan needs more private space. And uh, so it's great for her to be moving downstairs and she'll have her own bathroom and things like that. But that isn't happening anytime soon. She thinks that she's the queen of the castle, so to speak. <laughs> They're lazy. They just want to play video games, go on the computer, and play sports. This baseball-loving family's house has become totally foul. And as much as Mum Marion would like to help, multiple knee surgeries have kept her out of the lineup. My knee is done in by the time I'm off work, so it's I come home and, like, I can't even go to the grocery store to get groceries because it's just not possible. That leaves 17-year-old Siobhan all on her own when it comes to keeping the house tidy. It's disgusting. Especially when the family's three dogs make an unhealthy habit of letting loose all over the house. Those three dogs, oh yes, it's like an animal house. <laughs> Kids and dogs. <laughs> we, you ask us to do something, but when we ask you to do something, it's the complete opposite. Because when I ask you to do something, you return me in, oh, can't you do it for me? Siobhan's become overwhelmed by a filthy house that directly contributes to the family's health problems. <laughs> All of us have asthma. I'm on four puffers. Basically, I can have an asthma attack any second of the day with heat, dust, molds, anything. Now she's come up for air and has called Kim and Mike for a rude awakening. Ready? Yeah, I certainly am. Let's go. Sure, I can smell this house from here, can you? It smells bad. Morning, Kenny family. Kim and Mike here. We hear you're living in a pile of dog doo-doo. To say nothing of all your dirty washing in your garbage, you are living in a biological hazard! This is your rude awakening! Move, wash yourself. Hi. Hello, my love. Well, you sent for us, didn't you? Kim, Mike. Family's in they? here. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. I'm walking in this house. The smell's not good. Siobhan contacted us, because I believe the only one that does anything is this girl. Now, oh, you've got a bad knee, haven't you? Mm, I do. Yes. But it's, it takes you to work every day, that knee, does it? It does. And brings you back home. It does. But it doesn't stop you from doing everything, surely. Listen. Lazy yeah. mummy! Why do you do nothing, Ryan? I do. Actually, Kim, I'm the angel of the family. See my, ha see my halo? Oh. There's laundry all over the house, there's pee and poo everywhere, and there's garbage everywhere. Seamus, why isn't it walked outside? Because I don't want to. You don't want to. Now, <laughs> if this dog pees on my shoe, I'll boot him right up the FUD. Don't even think about it. This place is a biohazard, you dirty beggars. You don't think all this dust <laughs> and poo is giving you asthma? We have a lot of work to do, obviously. Let's see the rest of this house. First up, Marion's bedroom. Isn't it delightful? It's lovely. OK, wait a second. And you sleep in this bed? I do. We have a carpet that looks like it's been hit by, oh. I don't know what. But you have 
vacuum cleaners here. Do you use the vacuum cleaners? We do. And they're actually shampooers. Well, they've not been using many a year now. Oh, Come on. no, they have been. Do you have just a, no, steady the buffs, dear. No, we used them oh, last week. When did you? A week oh. ago, you liar. Oh, no, Kim. Get out of oh, my way. Get out. gross. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, just get out. Oh, I'm going to be sick. That's you. Don't be sick. This is You no more shampooed that lot. Last year you didn't shampoo that, you liar. Marion, this is the house of poop. Get out. Okay, I'm Out, leaving. please. Okay. This is all a bunch of lies. A house of poop is only as strong as its foundation. Time to hit Ryan's room in the basement. How do you sleep in this stinking hole? Dump. It's, it's a dump. I don't know. I'm used to it. But Siobhan lets the dogs down here, and they do their business, and I'm not down here sometimes. That's dog feces, isn't uh, it? Yeah, but I wasn't here when it happened, so oh. I didn't know about it. How could you kids hope not to have asthma? Thick <laughs> dust, dust mites, God knows what's under here. So no wonder you kids aren't dead. Let's go inspect the rest of the house. Take a look. You guys stay down here and do something. Start tidying, will you please? Start doing something. Don't touch the walls. Don't touch the walls. Next on the filth tour, Seamus's shameful digs. More washing. More smell. What's with all this laundry on the floor? That's where I put my clothes. Why don't you put them away? Too lazy to put them away. You're too lazy. You know who you take after, don't we, your mother? Yes, yes. Get out. Who wants to look at this room any longer? Ugh. Oh, Gross. shameful they are. Kim and Mike have seen the filthy evidence. Piles of junk and poop. Mounds of laundry and utter laziness have turned the Kenny house into a giant health hazard. But before they can get to work, they need to clear their minds and the air with a spot of tea. This must be the stinkiest house we have ever been in, ever. What do you expect with pee pee and poo poo from the docks? It's gonna stink, isn't it? And then you have laundry that just flies from the ceiling. Do you know what worries me there, Mike? And it does. Four out of four have got asthma, right? Mm. I'm gonna show you something. Asthma people can suddenly have a bad attack. Their chest heaves. It simply heaves. It does. Kim, I can honestly say I have never seen your chest heave. Shut up. Coming up, the Kennys upgrade to a real pigsty. You should well be used to it, dear. Don't you recognize yourselves? The Kenny family live in a state of health emergency. All of us have asthma. I'm on four puffers. Siobhan called Kim and Mike to help clear the air and change their ways. You don't think all this dust and poo is giving you asthma? Since the Kennys don't mind living in a biohazard house riddled with pet poo, then they should feel right at home with their wake-up call. Kenny family, it's obvious, I hope, to all of you why Kim and I have brought you here today. You, you live, live like, like pigs. pigs. <laughs> One with the pigs. All enjoy your food and your drinky poos. Poo in this place be a noxious <laughs> word. Oh. Disgusting. You should well be used to it, dear. Don't you? Well, that's the way you lot look. Don't you recognise yourselves? I'm surprised you're not delighted to be here. Do you want to live like a pig? No. Seamus, dear, how do you feel? He looks quite at home, you know, really, don't chocolate. It's really woke us up as far as uh, realizing that that's how people would perceive us as living like pigs, and, and that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty embarrassing. Kenny family, Kim and I hope you've learned your lesson here. Yes. Yeah. We want you to go back into that house, collect as much stuff as you possibly can in five minutes, and get the junk and the dirt and the grime out of your house. Now let's get back to that house and clean. Come on. Come on. Kim, let's go. Let's go. Out of the pigsty and back at their own, the family is given five minutes to start tossing some junk. We need urgency, people. This is urgent. We have to get the trash out we of the house. We do love it. No, no, okay, no. now, and hey, stop, do stop, stop, stop. Now, look. Yes. Look what you've thrown away in five minutes. But if you can achieve that in five minutes, what could you do another hour in that the house? house? The whole house. And then, when it's all gone, you know what we do then? Cleaning. Yes! yes! So Kim decides that it's best to hit the ground running and starts with the fouled carpet. You did this. Uh, you may, don't put your ears up at me. I'm not bothered one way or the other. I'm gonna take soda water. I start with soda water. I'm diluting the pee pee that's gone hard. Now, I'm lifting out all the neurine. Oh, that smells very much of neurine. It's brought it off. Mm. I've got here a bowl of just warm water, my love. You never use hot, you never use cold. 
Very hot water makes it smell worse. Very cold water, the smell stays in the rug. I've got a little bit of washing up liquid. I'm not trying to soak the whole house. That's not the answer, lovey. OK, now, up we come. You can see I've done it. Mm. Now, this is the test. Now, I, no smell. I'm not used to my nose is actually rubbing, you see. There is no <laughs> smell on that rug. Amazing. While Kim works on cleaning up the accidents... Don't pee or poo on me. Just Mike works on prevention. Come on, let's walk. Walk the dogs. The fact that your dog's pooping your house is still an issue. I want you to take the dogs out for a walk on a regular basis. Do you understand? Uh-huh. You get exercise, it doesn't poop in your house, and your house doesn't smell. You got it? Yeah. You're not interested whatsoever. I Listen am. to me, team meeting, listen to me. Your dogs uh -huh. are chick magnets. These are your own built-in chick magnets. Chicks like guys with dogs. So take your dog for a walk and make sure it doesn't poop in your house. Go, go, go. Come on, come on. Now that the dogs know their place, Mike continues to work on the boys. Now your boys, we gotta turn you into men. Agreed? Agreed. Yeah? Agreed. Agreed? This is the organizational chart. Now this chart is going to help your mother out Dictate what she needs done around the house because you two are clearly the men of the house. So if mom says, Seamus, you got a dust and you see this under your name and this, Ryan, who's in charge of the garbage? Me. These tasks have to be done. When? ASAP. ASAP. You two are going to be required to step up to the plate. So Mike oh. gets Ryan on garbage duty on the double. Right, see this problem? Yeah. This problem doesn't happen when you empty the garbage every day. It stinks. You get that stinky bag out of the house. And what is Seamus's plan of attack? You never know. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kim targets Mum for a mighty helpful lesson in the bedroom that should alleviate some of Marion's breathing problems. We live in our lives with millions of dust mites. Mm -hmm. You're living with billions. At least once a month. Love, it doesn't take long. We would just simply go down, uh -huh. suction. We'd go down, suction. Come on, darling, we'd go down. Believe it or not, that's pulling out thousands and thousands and thousands of dust mites. But I'm saying to you, you'll have millions? Fine. You've got billions. No, it's not fine. I honestly believe when we get this house cleaned up, a couple of you will not have asthma. That is my belief. Thousands of dust mites are dead in the bedroom, but there are still plenty of places to hide. Kenny family, listen. There's still one major family problem that is the big issue in this household. Your laundry. Oh. I've never seen so much laundry in all my life, and I've seen laundry. Oh. I want every piece of dirty washing brought out of this house and put on that lawn. It will be the first bit of air it's had in years. It'll be gasping. Would you liven up, Seamus? I've seen more life in a mortuary. Seamus eventually separates himself from the sofa, and then it's escape to Dirty Laundry Mountain. This looks like the country's laundry. I was in your room before, both of you. It's pretty messy. Just a minute. Shut up for a minute. A moment of truth. How long would you say some of this washing has been lying dirty? Come on, Marion. Come it's on. Christmas. Christmas. Let's go to Laundry Mountain right now. Let's go, guys. In the van. Seamus, there you go. In. Go. Come on. There you go. I don't know where those clothes came from. <laughs> Come on, get weaving. Oh, it stinks in here. Oh, it, oh, it stinks. Just go. Coming up, push comes to shove for Siobhan and Seamus. Go get some. Ow. Go and clean your room. Lack of responsibility and laziness have led to a household of hazardous filth for the Kennys. You, you live, live like, like pigs. pigs! Kim and Mike have taught them to deal with piles of garbage. It stinks! And dog doo-doo. And now they're moving on to piles of laundry. Kenny, here's the plan. The first four machines, we're putting in the darks. The next four machines, we're putting in the whites. And then the final four machines, we're putting in the delicates and the wools. What is wrong with you, dear? Everything. I second that, don't choke. Absolutely. Get Shake a leg, Let's dear. He's so energetic as if for a young child. So the Kennys load up even more than Mike and Kim expected and quickly take over all 22 machines. That's a lot of agitation. I'm so surprised that there's still a lot more left. That hasn't been worn much, I think. Am I right? 
I was wondering more than a few times. That... Not much. Look at the label. It hasn't been washed much. No, more, it's been more than much, but it hasn't been washed. <laughs> <laughs> Now here's what's gonna happen. Once the clothes are full to the top, you immediately do your laundry. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Pardon? Yes. yes. Well, all of it's done, folded, clean, and uh, now we just have to put it away. Finding a proper home for their clothing is but one item on an ever-growing to-do list because Siobhan is still planning to switch bedrooms with Ryan. I'm a girl, I need bigger space. He's kind of mad that he's not moving down here, and I am. And Seamus being kind of mad has turned him into being kind of totally useless. Hi, uh, Seamus. In one word, black to day school. He's been slacking. Seamus, what are you doing? Why aren't you cleaning? Why not? With Seamus, it's very, very frustrating. He's not into this. Hurry up and get it done. It has to be done now. It causes a lot of anger, especially between Siobhan and Seamus. Okay, hey, Seamus, I think since the bin's here, maybe you should go and get the bikes from the backyard. Yeah, go get them. Let's go. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. Ow. Seamus was arguing with me, and uh, so I shoved him a little. And he hit his back on the big bin. So. But Seamus will get zero sympathy from Kim and Mike. Oh, what are you doing lying there? Have you done any housework? Yeah, I put my back hurts. Oh, it didn't did as well. This is disgusting. It's still a biological hazard. Get up right away now. Come here. You've got a punishment out there. I hope you're laughing then. Get him out. Get him out. Since Seamus has been a useless wet rag when it comes to cleaning up the house of hazard, Kim and Mike have decided that it's time for his personal wake-up call. You're letting your family down, and we're sick and tired of it. See if you're smiling in a minute of a monster. Punish him. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Oh, poor Seamus. Get some more ice in that water. Little monster. Come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> How are you feeling? Awful. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Family back in the house right now. You got a lot of work to do, and your house still stinks. It's a biological hazard, that house, you know. When you get out, you big lazy lump. Seamus has been hung out to dry, and his attitude has been refreshed. Yeah, I guess it would be OK to clean my room and then have some girls come over. Cleaning his room is one thing, but Mike has another tip to help the men woo the ladies. Now, I don't want you to do this all the time. Okay. However, when you really want to get the bacteria off your face uh -huh. and you want to get some really nice skin happening, we're going to do a facial mask. I know it sounds weird. Real men do facial masks. This is going to really give you a deep cleanse. You want to put this on in a circular motion, and we're going to let it harden so it really gets in your pores. Real men have facials. That's right, right, man. Seamus, how you doing, bro? The girls are going to love you. This is something you keep to yourself, because that way you're ahead of the game, and everyone wonders why you look so good, and it's because you had a facial. Now, we've got a 15-minute cleanse now to happen, all right? Ryan, time check? Uh, yep, it's been 15 minutes. All right, let's rinse it off. You're cooked, buddy. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, I got to tell you, you look fabulous. Now, let's see your best chick magnet face. See you at the beach. Nice. The boys are buffed and polished. It's time to get the house the same. They've learned to deal with mountains of dirty clothes, puddles and piles of doggy fun, emptied their garbage can of a house, and learned how to organize. But will 24 hours be enough for this family to get ready for the final challenge? We are going to leave you now, but we think we've done enough. Now we want you, please, fill up the dumpster and then get cleaning, including you, Seamus. And when we come back, we want your house to be presentable, organized, and because you guys are a big baseball family, we want you to show off your family and your home to your team. Mm -hmm. Right, we're leaving you to it. This is your final yeah. challenge. Remember, if you don't do it, you'll look silly in a dirty house. Get on with it! OK. By having a baseball party with all their mates, because they love the game, it's an incentive to get them to clean themselves up. And I do like them very much. They're a sweet, nice family. Oh, they are lucky beggars, though. <laughs> This nice family has some serious work cut out for them. I don't want it. Hold it. I'll pick up oh, more food. Thanks. This one's stuck to the carpet. This carpet is in a very bad state. Maybe so bad that it can't be cleaned. 
Coming up, Seamus and the whole team are on board for their final challenge. But is it too little, too late? You guys didn't leave us enough time to clean the house. It was just really messy, so we need to work harder. This baseball-loving family has struck out big time when it comes to living like all-stars. My room is a complete disaster, right? Kim and Mike came to coach some sense into the Kennys. I honestly believe when we get this house cleaned up, a couple of you will not have asthma. That is my belief. But with less than a few hours to go to complete their final challenge, Team Kenny is going into extra innings. You guys didn't leave us enough time to clean the house. It was just really messy, so we need to work harder. I have to say that I think all of these guys have been really working hard. If Kim and Mike arrive soon, I don't know if we're going to be ready for this. Well, Kim, Mike, and the baseball team will be the judge of that, but not before a reminder of how they once lived through the dreaded theater of shame. Welcome to the theater of shame. But seriously, look, there's a film about to start, and you're going to see what the house was like. The dungeon. Oh, God. How could you like that? The dirty, disgusting basement with the once scary rug has been transformed into Siobhan's girly escape. No dog do you on the carpet? What do you think of this? The master bedroom. <laughs> I'm glad you've got the grace to blush. <laughs> what do you think, little chappy? What's it like? I think that it's like living in a garbage can. Right. They were living in a garbage can. <laughs> Marion's boudoir has gone from dumping ground to her very own private oasis. It is really lovely. Now, keep, keep it going. It's, it's a wonderful film. Bro, wow. Wow. It's so last place room has been transformed into a pennant contender. I'm blown away. And the rest of the house has been changed from a biohazard into a house fit for humanity. The lovely family room. You've all worked very hard, even Seamus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, thanks ever so much. Now, do we all deserve to party? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, my heavens. This is no longer a house of poop. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> We're going to love you and leave you now. Enjoy your party. But please, keep a nice home. Kids, encourage them. Bye, keep guys. Have a nice party. Bye. 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 We will be getting along a whole lot better. It's easier for me to breathe, feel better, feel healthier. It's a fresh start and a happy family.